States across the country are tracking illness associated with vaping. Just this week, Arkansas joined the growing list specifically looking for cases of severe pulmonary disease. The CDC and the Arkansas Department of Health urge doctors to report possible cases of unexplained vaping associated pulmonary illness. As of August 27th, 25 states reported 215 possible cases. Arkansas is investigating four suspected cases right now. Those numbers have health and safety officials alarmed, especially as vaping swells among teens and young people. But THV 11's Rolly Hoyt tells us if a city or town wanted to try to address vaping locally, they can't because a state law stands in the way. Marlisa and Craig, that state law went on the books in 2015. It came when lawmakers wanted to try and expand the rules for traditional tobacco into the fast growing world of e-cigarettes. Advocates say big tobacco saw them coming and made sure that they could avoid battles in every city hall and courthouse. Um, vaping and big tobacco are kind of uh, one and the same. That's the position of the American Heart Association, one of the players in the decades-long effort to show the dangers of smoking. They see the same adversary as vaping takes off. You know, it's, a, it's something we've been, been actively trying to, uh, to turn back, and we're kind of seeing the ramifications now with all of these uh, e-cigarette-related illnesses that are popping up. David Oberemt is referring to the 200-plus reports of people getting serious lung problems from vaping. There are four cases in Arkansas and two deaths elsewhere in the country. Health officials are worried most about the way this is hitting teens. Kids like to experiment things. Uh, they call it dripping. Dripping is directly pouring the e-liquid into the hot coils. Lawmakers managed to pass a law that gradually restricts vaping to people under 21. It kicked in last weekend. But if a local city wanted to take the gradual part out, they can't. A city or a county can't go beyond what the state law says. The state law preempts local laws. Even though elsewhere in the same law, cities can pass local restrictions on traditional tobacco. The Heart Association says it's a move big tobacco is known for. Across the country, the tobacco industry has been trying to prevent um, cities from creating laws around e-cigarettes and other tobacco products. Um, we saw a real rash of them across the country this year. The state senator who helped write the 2015 law, Eddie Joe Williams, recalled that he definitely wanted vaping regulated, but also worried different local laws could cause problems. He's now retired. Four years later, advocates hope there's movement at the Capitol to give back local control. Small towns and cities and communities, you know, they know what, um, you know, what those problems are in those cities and what they need to address. And I think that, uh, you know, give, give the people right to govern. We have these government structures for a reason. Down the street from the Capitol, Attorney General Leslie Rutledge says she would like to see vaping laws addressed if Governor Asa Hutchison would call a special session this year.